Hey guys, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to run the Sony Xperia XZ Premium in 4K resolution. And in fact, since then, I have been running this phone in 4K. As you can see, IDA64 shows a resolution of 1890 into 3360. There you go. It's not exactly 4K, but it's quite near 4K. And this is the resolution that you need to keep in order to avoid various problems. So I have been checking the comments on my video and some of you want me to run this phone in QHD resolution. You can see or I can already show two comments. Uh, QHD is 1440p, which is 2560 into 1440. So in this video, I'm going to do just that. And if you're watching this video for the first time, I'll guide you through the full procedure. And most importantly, I want to see if some of these issues like these multitasking thumbnails not showing up. And you can see these icons are also out of the uh, screen area. I want to see these issues being resolved in QHD resolution. So let's go ahead and change the resolution from 4K to QHD. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to developer options in your settings and enable USB debugging. Now you might not see this developer options enabled by default. If you don't have it over here, go to about phone, scroll down and repeatedly tap on build number until you see a message which says congratulations. Now you're a developer. Go back into the uh, developer options, scroll down and make sure USB debugging is enabled on your phone. In this next step, you'll need access to a Windows PC. Go to this XDA website and download Minimal ADB Fastboot and this link is down in the video description. So once you download and install ADB Fastboot, go ahead and run this program and you should see a window like this. Now go ahead and connect your phone to the PC. So as soon as I plug the phone in, I got this message, allow USB debugging. Make sure you check the option which says always allow from this computer and then tap on OK. Let's go back to the home screen and now we gotta type in ADB give a space shell press enter. Now you can see the model number of the phone this is the XZ premium and now you can type in WM give a space size give a space 1440 into 2560 and then press enter and see something happen on the phone now we are running in QHD resolution now to confirm that I'm gonna go to IDA64 go to display and you can see the resolution is set to 1440 into 2560 at this point of time we can go ahead and safely close the command prompt and disconnect the phone from the PC. So as you can see now the phone is running in QHD resolution. There we go. Now we gotta go ahead and make some changes in the settings. Go to settings, scroll to display, scroll down and when you see this display size option change it to default or change it to small. And now you can see our icons are back to normal and everything just fits. Alright guys, it's been about 24 hours since I have been using this phone in UHD resolution. So first thing I would like to do is point out a few issues. So number one, you still don't get these app thumbnails. It's not a huge issue but it is something to keep in mind if you are uh, planning to change the resolution to UHD. So yeah, you still don't get these app thumbnails and secondly, I had to change the screen size the display size over here from small to default now why I did this was these navigation icons stop working especially the back key and the recent key it is still a little bit off screen in lands in landscape mode but it is still better than it was before and if you change it to small you'll be able to fit more icons over here but that is one trade-off you'll have to make uh, if you want these navigation icons to work and another thing I have noticed you can see in landscape mode this notification bar is slightly off screen as you can see but as soon as you change the uh, display size to default this thing is back to normal but as you can still see the navigation icons are a little bit off screen and this uh, recent menu also does not work most of the times sometimes it works sometimes it does not so that is one issue you can increase the uh, 
display size even further and it will work just fine but then again it makes everything huge and I don't like everything so big on my phone and other than these scaling issues and these thumbnails not showing up the phone is working perfectly fine I'm able to play games the phone is not heating up and battery life is also really really good so I'm at 69% right now and my screen on time is 3 hours 11 minutes and 48 seconds there you go really good screen on time and still got a lot of battery remaining I won't be charging my phone tonight so here is my app usage and just so you know guys I unplugged the phone about 19 hours 25 minutes ago so since then it has been running on battery power I have been using the phone like I usually do so with that kind of usage I have been getting a real good battery life 3 hours 14 minutes of screen on time with 69% battery still remaining. So one last thing I really love about this QHD resolution is the fact that the keyboard is tiny. You can see because this keyboard is tiny there is a lot more space to work with on the screen and this comes in really handy if you're texting someone and the keyboard doesn't really occupy a lot of space. So in 1080p and 4K this, if you select the smallest size the smaller size will be at least this big but in this uh, particular 1440 resolution the smaller size is even smaller and I really like this so let's go ahead and do a app launch speed test and multitasking test so first off I'm gonna show you the display resolution is indeed 1440 into 2560 if you can't see it I'll bring the phone up close so there you go and again my testing methodology is going to be exactly the same like I usually do in my videos. So here I have a couple of apps. I'm going to launch these apps one by one and see how the phone performs. So let's start off with album. And I'm going to be real quick. Just going to jump through all of these apps so that I don't take up much time. You can see everything is working fine. So yes, we can edit this. So let's go back to album, split screen multitasking. And kind it is kind of annoying that these thumbnails are not visible. Kind of it is kind of useful to see where you left off uh, different apps. So let me close this up. Temple run 2. You can see how lightning fast the load speed is on this phone. It is working. So let's try the split screen multitasking once again. So you're working on a presentation, you're browsing the web. Let's try Asphalt 8. This game is famous for crashing on my phone. So let's see if it even loads. So it is loading, no problem. And I think it is stuck. So here you can see the recent ski is not working. So I will, so there you go, it worked. So sometimes if the recent key, the key does not work in games, you need to minimize everything. Quit the game manually. I think it might be due to the internet being turned on so I'll turn this off let's try this again sometimes asphalt 8 will not work if you're connected to the internet but it seems to be working fine now
working super smooth frame rate So let's launch VLC. So this is the application that I usually use for my wallpapers. These guys have a really nice collection. But this wallpaper is a picture that I took a few years ago. I might link this picture down in the video description. You can go ahead and download the wallpaper and use it on your phone. You can see everything is working fine and the phone is still cool to the touch it is slightly warm so yeah guys everything is working fine temple run 2 is reloading Let's also try dead trigger. So guys, I think this concludes the video and I thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you next time. You can see this game is also working no problem. Alright guys, time to drop the screen resolution back to 1080p which is the original setting on the Xperia XZ Premium. Now I'm reverting back to 1080p so that you guys can compare these uh, screenshots that I took. So once I am back in 1080p, I'll take some screenshots again and uh, link the uh, screenshots down in the video description. So once again, I've connected the phone to my computer, enabled USB debugging. So once again in ADB type ADB shell press enter so there you go you can see the phone's model number now type in WM space size space 1080 into 1920 oh the phone has gone to sleep and press enter now we are back to original resolution. Now since we are back in the original uh, factory set resolution, you can see we'll be able to see these app thumbnails in the multitasking menu. So there you go. Our phone is back to normal. Now we'll take some screenshots so you guys can compare. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.